A product of hemomancy experiments in Noxus, Briar was born a being of endless hunger who lived only for her next bloody meal. But after many years under lock and key, she learned to control her hunger and choose when to fully unleash. Now she's free and learning who's friend and who's food. As a jungler, Briar wants to eat camps until she sees a tasty pick or counter gank on the menu. When it's time to feast, she dives teeth first into the fight and loves every second of it. Hope you came hungry, because we're serving up the facts about this insatiable jungler. Welcome to the Briar Champion Spotlight. Pray, we can... Sorry, <laughs> old habit. Uh, hi! Briar's passive is Crimson Curse. She doesn't have any base health regen, and her abilities cost current health. She can still heal with potions and whatnot, but what she really wants is blood. Her attacks and abilities apply a stacking bleed that heals her based on the damage dealt. The lower her health, the hungrier she gets, and the greater her healing. This means Briar wants to run into a fight, not away from it. Her increased healing at low health makes her tough to kill, so she can bait enemies into becoming tasty treats. Food doesn't have to be blood? Huh. Before sampling the rest of her abilities, let's take a look at the main course of Briar's kit, Blood Frenzy. Her W sheds the pillory that restrains her and sends her leaping into frenzy mode for several seconds. She self taunts to the nearest meal in range, prioritizing enemy champions wherever possible. This means she loses control of her movement and attacks, but can still cast abilities, use summoner spells, and activate items. I'll fight you and your kids! While frenzied, she gains attack and move speed, and her attacks deal damage in an area. Briar can also recast W to empower her next attack with Snack Attack. It deals extra damage based on the target's missing health and heals her for a good chunk, too. Briar is at her strongest when she's in Blood Frenzy because she can clear camps faster and devour enemies. But she's also out of your control. Choose your timing and targets wisely so you don't bite off more than you can chew. But I'm not full yet. With Head Rush, Briar leaps to a target, stuns them, and shreds their armor so they're easier to chew. She can also target an ally to leap to their location. You can cast this ability while Briar is in frenzy mode to help her nom the right target, like a delicious ADC instead of a yucky tank. But be careful. If Briar targets a minion or monster with Q during her frenzy, she will no longer prioritize enemy champions and start eating whatever's closest. Briar's E is Chilling Scream. She stops in place and charges up, gaining damage reduction and restoring health during the channel. On release, she lets loose a blood-curdling scream that damages and slows enemies in its path. With a full charge, the scream knocks enemies back, stunning them if they hit a wall and dealing tons of damage. Briar can cast this ability while she's in frenzy mode to snap out of it. In fact, it's the only way to end blood frenzy early, so don't waste that cooldown. Use it to heal up and disengage after you've gotten your fill of fighting, or slam your next target into a wall for seconds. We don't have to fight. You could just share your butt. Nowhere is safe from Briar when she's hungry, and that's all the time. For her ult, Certain Death, Briar kicks a hemolith across the map. It travels over a huge range and marks the first enemy champ it hits as her prey. Then she flies to their location like a bat out of hell. On landing, she damages everything nearby and makes other enemies flee in terror. Then it's dinner time. Briar enters an empowered blood frenzy with extra resists, lifesteal, and move speed. Unlike her normal frenzy, Briar's ult makes her prioritize her prey and doesn't end until she's killed them or dies trying. But that doesn't mean you have to run it down. You can still use her Q to stun, W to reposition and bite, or E to end the chase early if it means living to eat another day. Certain Death makes Briar a constant threat, especially as a follow-up to her teammates' crowd control. Use it to join a juicy fight from across the map or to back up your friends with a counter gank. There won't be any leftovers. Ooh, that was fun! Let's go again! Briar was built around the idea of losing control to gain power and putting that choice in your hands. So instead of sophisticated mechanics and precision skill shots, she's all about timing. A Briar who burns her cooldowns on junk food is easy pickings for an invading enemy. Choosing the ideal moment to frenzy, getting on the right targets, and knowing when to snap out of it will mean the difference between dining and dying. Briar may be strongest while she's frenzying, but there is no such thing as a free lunch. She's susceptible to crowd control of all kinds, so chaotic teamfights where enemies can peel her off priority targets are tough to swallow. Instead, look for small skirmishes and picks where she can gobble up her prey before they know what bit them. While Briar isn't picky about whom she eats, enemies with good mobility or escape tools may leave a bad taste in her mouth. They can waste her frenzy time and lead her into a bad spot. Similarly, champs that can keep her teeth busy with the wrong target really ruin her appetite. Clones and tanks just don't taste very good. 
Wondering if Briar is your flavor? Her all-in kit may be appealing if you like playing divers like Vi, Diana, or Camille. She also has incredible survivability, so if you enjoy mega healing champions like Warwick, Aatrox, or Vladimir, give her a try. You're nervous. Is it the pillory? I can take it off. All right, less talking, more eating. Dig in with Briar, the Restrained Hunger, at the links below.